Welcome to Electron Online. Our third example is a little bit tricky, so we need to be very careful and we need to use strict definitions of what's written there in the problem, otherwise we're not going to get the right answer. The reason why it's tricky is because it says here that the sum of two numbers is minus 22. And then it says that one number is four less than half the other number. Find the two numbers. So here when we're dealing with negative numbers, and one is less than the other, and one is half the other, and so forth, then what we need to do is be very careful in defining what we're dealing with and working the problem out strictly by definition. Then we need to check to make sure we got it right. So here we have two numbers, so we're going to let x equal... Hmm, let's see here. We have one number which is defined in terms of the other number. So let x equal the other number. And then the one number can be defined as 4 less than half the other number. So 4 less means minus 4 and half means 1 half times x. So this is 4 less than half the other number and so this is therefore equal to the one number. So again let's define it. So we have the one number which is defined in terms of the other number. So let x equal the other number, because we don't know what it is. And now the one number is defined in terms of the other number as being 4 less than half the other number. And there we go. That's how we define the two numbers. Now, they tell us that the sum of the two is equal to minus 22. Which means that x plus 1 half x minus 4 is equal to minus 22. So there's the equation. The sum of the two equals negative 22. And now we can solve for x. The first thing we need to do is multiply both sides by 2 because that way we get rid of the decimal. When we do that we get 2x plus x minus 8 is equal to minus 44. Notice at the same time I also got rid of the parentheses and the brackets by simply multiplying everything by 2. Now we combine all like terms. Well, first what we want to do is get the 8 to the other side. So we have 2x plus x is equal to minus 44 plus 8 because the minus 8 becomes plus 8. So 3x is equal to minus 44 plus 8 which is minus 36. Divide both sides by 3 and we get x is equal to minus 12. Got ahead of myself here. Minus 12. Alright, so we can say that the other number that they're referring here is equal to minus 12. That means that the one number is 4 less than half as much. So what we can do here is this is equal to 1 half times minus 12 minus 4, which is equal to minus 6 minus 4, which is equal to minus 10. So there's the one number and there's the other number. So the two numbers we're looking for are minus 10 and minus 12. Let's check to see if we have it correct by saying that the sum of the two numbers is equal to negative 2, which means that minus 12 plus a minus 10, is that indeed equal to minus 22? And the answer is yes. Minus 12 minus 10 is minus 22 equals minus 22, which means the two numbers we found are correct, minus 10 and minus 12. Notice that when you say 4 less than half, it's surprising you get minus 10, which is almost the same magnitude as minus 12, but because the negative signs, that's why it appears so weird. That's why strictly using the definition of what we have here is the only way to get the right answer. And that's how it's done.